Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. All right, this is Bob from Bob Mo. Welcome to my new, uh, new channel where I talk about the news and stuff like that. So today is my first real video talking about stuff. Today I want to talk to you about how President Biden is getting us into a war over Ukraine. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that um, welcome to my channel. You can subscribe if you want. I really, really appreciate it. Um, now, why is President Biden, um, from now on, I'll just say Biden, okay, makes it a lot easier because, you know, I start a little bit, getting, uh, trying to get us involved in a situation with Ukraine. Um, as far as I see it, um, I don't think this is our problem, okay? Um, Ukraine is not America's problem, okay? It's just some Eastern European country um, that's recently gotten independent from, well, it's been independent for a long time, but it shares a history with Russia because they're basically the same type of people that live there. Um, but it's not a member of NATO, and um, we shouldn't be um, risking our lives over Ukraine, which I don't think is in America's best interest right now. I don't think Ukraine is America's interest, okay? Uh, I'm not saying, I mean, I feel for what's going on in, for the people of Ukraine, obviously. I mean, but um, uh, I don't think that, uh, you know, it's our problem, okay? Is Biden trying to uh, get, us, get us into a unneeded war? Because the neocons in Congress are pushing him, including Mitch McConnell, who is a Republican, and some other Democrats and Republicans, they want him to go to war with Russia, get tough on Russia. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of Russians that, that live in Ukraine. You know, there's a lot of Russians that live in eastern Ukraine. And um, a, lot, a, a lot of them want to be part of Russia. I'm not saying that it's okay for Russia to invade Ukraine, but if what, half, of, half of Ukraine does not want to be part of uh, Ukraine proper, and they want to be sided with their brethren in Russia. Um, they should either make a vote and go that way if they want and break up or whatever. Because I see that happening eventually, obviously, in down down the road. But I don't think the uh, United States should be getting involved in the problems of Eastern Europe. Okay? That's not our interest there. Okay? Ukraine is not America's problem. Okay? Um, okay? And... Uh, you know, you have all these countries now. Listen, are you going to send your sons and daughters to, to, to fight over Ukraine? I mean, sure. I'm sure Ukraine is a nice country. The people there are nice. Um, is it worth risking American lives for Ukraine? I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, uh, Biden has such a big mouth. Maybe he should send his own family there. Or I don't know if he has a son or not. Or he could send himself there and fight the war. Okay. Um, or is he doing this because he's trying to distract people from his failed policies so far? Okay, he hasn't been doing, uh, he hasn't been able to pass anything. Now uh, the Supreme Court, uh, Breyer is retiring, so he wants to uh, fill the vacancy. He has a chance to up himself now to show people, hey, you know, I'm doing something. But in the end, he's not really doing anything. You know, listen, listen, I'll be honest with you, okay? I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, okay? I'm an independent and from what I see from Biden, I think, personally, uh, I don't think he's capable of doing the job anymore. I think he should step down. Uh, well, I should, actually, no, he shouldn't step down because Kamala, uh, Pamela Harris can become president. And we don't want that. I don't, I don't think that's in America's best interest right now because she doesn't know what the hell she's doing, as far as I'm concerned. But, um, yeah. So, and, you know, they have this person that comes out that gives the stories at the podium at the white house uh, i don't know her name really this uh this lady who looks very obnoxious um looks like she wants to fight with everybody that you know with the press or something um i think besides all this okay all right we we know biden is i used to like the guy actually i thought he was a cool guy uh, back in the 90s, but apparently he's gone, I don't want to say insane, but yeah, close to it. He looked like he's gotten lost his mind or something. Instead of concentrating on the economy right now, we have inflation that's affecting 
you know, I just order groceries, okay, and everything's gotten so damn expensive at the grocery store. I mean, I'm paying more, but why should I? You understand? Oh, you could say, oh, because it's, it's, you could say, okay, it's the supply and demand. It's the COVID-19 problem that's causing this. Well, you know, workers that don't want to go through the mandate, they're just going to leave the job. And then he's the cause of this, really, because now everything is getting expensive. Workers are not working. Truckers are not trucking, a lot of them. And there's a lot of bottleneck going on. And as president, he should take control and find immediately to do something about these high prices. Okay? But let's, that's sidetracking to something else. Okay? Let's go back to uh, Ukraine. All right? So, yeah, I think it's a bad idea. That's my own opinion. You know, it's, that's my, that's an opinion. Okay? I don't want you guys to leave any nasty comments in the comment section saying that blah, 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 blah. Well, you can if you want to, but uh, say, hey, what is this fat guy talking about? He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, well, I don't think Ukraine is America in America's national interest. You understand? You're, okay, well, we're going to stand up for democracy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's not our problem, okay, to get involved with Ukraine, to fight a war over Ukraine, okay? That's Russia's problem, not our problem, okay? Um, and I don't think any of these Western Euro European countries wants to have a war with Russia, okay? The United Kingdom has the, the galls <laughs> to ship military equipment to Ukraine and all Russia needs to do is to shoot one of those planes down and the next thing you know, um, that'll stop Ukraine, I mean, United Kingdom from sending more, any more weapons over there. You understand? They're taking a big risk. You understand? And plus, Russia's a very powerful country. Okay? But that's not the reason why I'm saying this. Okay? I mean, uh, you're messing around with a nuclear power country. Okay? Um, sure, having a war is going to take... A, people's minds off the economy and the inflation and stuff like that but is it the right thing to do you know i mean i mean you know just concentrate on putting food back on the shelves yeah oh i'm just saying that because i'm a big guy i like to eat yes i do like to eat um and the restaurants have gotten very expensive i'm trying to cook my own food now um i have another channel you could check it out food dip if you want you know see the videos i have there uh, where I eat mostly fast food, but I've cut back a little bit, you know, but I'm still eating stuff, you know. But yeah, um, so Biden needs to do something, not do anything about Russia. I mean, Ukraine, actually. Not to do anything about Ukraine. Just mind your own business and get us. don't get us into a stupid quagmire, okay? It's going to become a quagmire, okay? Um, it's going to be like Chechnya, Chechnya, okay, for America, which I don't think is, is a good idea. You understand? Know and, uh, you know, uh, Mitch, Mitch McConnell said something about um, it's going to be like Chechnya for Russia. But um, let me tell you something, okay? Ukraine, um, Mitch McConnell doesn't know what he's talking about, okay? Um, I don't know what any of them are talking about. These, you know, Congress needs term limits, first of all. All of these guys need to be thrown out, okay? They should have term limits for every eight years, no more than that, instead of making a career out of the people, okay, that pushing us to war in Iraq and and all kind of stuff in Afghanistan, all kind of stuff that we don't need. You know, we should uh, spend the money here at home, okay? Um, and yeah, once again, Ukraine is not America's problem, okay? It's not Canada's problem. Maybe it's England's problem. I don't know. They're closer to the problem. But, um... We should just mind our own business, okay? It doesn't mean that I'm trying to be soft, but uh, it's it's uh, they're Slavic people, and um, you know, Slavic people like to stick together, okay? Especially uh, uh, you know the the Russians, they like they they have their own set of ideas. You understand of um, you know dealing with their own problems, okay? So yeah, we shouldn't be getting involved in the Ukraine situation, okay? If you have a comment about this, just leave a comment in, in the comment and I'll read it, of course. I'll hear what you have to say. I might not respond to you because, uh, I don't know. I, I don't like just, you know, I read it though, okay? I'll, I'll read your comments about it. 
I know you disagree with me. Some of you guys do. Maybe some of you guys agree with me. If you agree with me, just let me know. If you think Ukraine is America's problem and is Biden getting us into a war, just let me know. Okay? I right, guys, thank you guys for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out.